Able to back off. He's going to hear that info and already communicating that to his teammates. But it turns out the Gambit are trying to pull a fast one on Navi. Trying to catch them out of position. They show themselves mid, only to wrap down to B. Perfect. They're going to be calling in the reinforcements. But it's going to be too little, too late. Shiro and Exile have already started it off. And Electronic showing some fight, though. Brings it back to a four on four. But now we go into the sit and wait phase of this retake where Navi are hoping that somebody on Gambit are going to make a mistake. They go for the flash over the top. Shiro's there and it's all the kills for Gambit. Nothing Perfecto can hope to do in this situation. Gambit win the pistol round to kick off the overpass. Yeah, that's a great that's a great pistol round from Gambit and Navi just trying to set up the retake, obviously. That are getting potentially thrown in here by Navi. Nades getting committed to the upper side though is probably going to give it away. Simple's in a position to just blast them in the face. He's not going to find a kill though. Nefani gets tagged, gets a follow-up there from Bit, but the kills are not coming through. It's not until Boomage chimes in, finds one of his own. Right, there's not much more they can do here. Three on four, Boomage would have to do something really special. The rest of Navi has arrived. The smoke is going to give them a little bit of cover to be creative, and Boomage pushing up. They almost line up for him. He's got great damage on Exile. They've got to back away. Gambit's under a lot of pressure, and they just leave the bomb site. They say, we want nothing to do with this. More than happy to back away and find a new option, and hoping for some overextensions. And Gambit's not leaving the bomb site quite yet. That's the thing, they've still given themselves some time to play with here. And so Navi are the ones who are going to start second guessing themselves. Is this going to be a B hit after all? They're committed to the A bomb site. Now they'd have to retake otherwise. And so it is going to be Navi here, ready to spring the trap. Boomage turns it into a 2v2. The bomb is yet to get planted with eight seconds left on the clock. It's going down to a 1v1. And Shiro trying to hunt him down. Boomage just oh my gets God. around and he is going to win it. Boomage! Navi on the board! That is unreal. Brilliant play from Boomich. Winning by mobility, no bullets as well. But that's what you're waiting for. You're waiting for Navi to make the info plays. So you need to take advantage of him. There's Bit though on the flank with the FB9. He gets the double! Outrageous! How long did it take to get that second kill? Nefani and Shiro now left wondering what they can hope to do here. They are sandwiched in with no way out. This AK-47 hasn't even been put into play yet. They've already lost too many players. There's nothing it can really do. No opening it could provide. It would have to be everything from Shiro. Scout's going to lead the way, and there goes the AK. Simple is relentless. Double kill, both headshots, and Navi have a 2-1 to one lead. This, this setup in Monster is everything. This pop flash, here it comes. Both of them are looking right at it. They just spam. Molotov is dropped. They're going to know there's a second player, but they don't press the issue. The flames hold them back for the moment. And Electronic has to get out. No more utility. And somehow he's actually going to be able to escape all the way back. And here comes the re-hit. What a beautiful Molotov. That saved everything. Without it, I'm pretty sure Gambit just plow onto the bomb site. Now we're down on time. 20 seconds on the clock. Bit catches out enters. And now Hobbit has to press forward. Has to hit this shot. He will drop Electronic in the end. And simple, uncharacteristic miss from him. Can that bomb get planted? Bowman's gonna take a bullet to the side of the head. Simple takes Exile, but the bomb is planted and ticking. And Gambit have found a way to find a man advantage here. Simple's down, Hobbit looking for more. It's a 1v3, and Fit gets picked. Nefani takes him out. A second round on the board for Gambit, and that was a bumpy round. What's up, guys? Check out hotpizza.gg, a great website to open CSGO cases. Depositing on the website is super easy. Just select your preferred payment method, type my code MEDS to get 50 cents for free, and start opening cases right away. Here it's me opening the snowball case and getting a $90 AWP as emote. Withdrawing skins is also super easy. Just go to inventory and select the skin that you want. The process is super fast and you get the trade offer in less than one minute. Also, if you have a skin that you don't like, you can try to get a better one using the upgrade mode. The website has many different modes like case opens, case battles, and case upgrades. Link to the website is in the description below. Outside of Monster Gan gathered up and the rotation is coming through now. Bit holding close could ruin the Fanny's day, and this is going to be it. The push begins. 15 seconds on the clock. Electronic going to catch Shiro. And this round is falling apart. He gets traded, but the bomb gets denied. Perfecto with the double spray. And Simple collects the final kill of the round. Gambit with the slow play. 79% of the time, Navi have a man advantage. They win at 5v4. Brutal. But that's pretty much what we expect from the elite teams here. The teams that have made it to the top four, they don't give up many rounds they have an advantage in. That's why they're here. That's why they win. 
Good shot from Simple. A oh. follow-up shot through the corner of the doorway. <laughs> this is brutal. Four to two, it's gonna be five to two. Hobbits left in a one on five. Which is kind of the name of the game here. You wanna get the palm plant so you can get the bonus money. What an easy kill for Boomich. Five to two. Some map control. Can we get the bait and switch here? This could be great positioning for Simple. He's going to be able to have impact no matter where the main thrust of this hit comes in. But they now know his position, and they're already creeping out a monster as well. Electronics got to hold him back. Oh, he saved his life. Perfecto, and Simple jumps in. And just like that, it's over. Everyone from Navi collapses, and everyone wins their fight. It's a four-round lead. Oh, Simple, so patient for the moment. Up top. Flashbang out to enable his teammates to turn this corner. Inters inside the bomb site. They don't commit. Inters is able to connect. He's going to look for more as well around the edge of the smoke, but Boomich scares him away. He knows there's one at the low angle. He wants Simple. He's got him. Deagle's out as well, and Boomich is going to clean him up. Good trades from the Gambit side and into a one-on-one. -on -one. It's Bit to Hobbit, and he's not going to be able to find it. Huge clutch for Gambit. That is such a savage angle from Hobbit as well, catching him right as his feet touch the ground. No chance to readjust his aim. A bit more mobile rotating back to the A bomb site. Actually, all of them are going to feel the confidence to start rotating over. They feel no pressure. What a kill from Hobbit. That's a good opening. Gambit have found one. Three players coming up long. And Navi's going to step in front of the smokes. Nafani can't connect, can't find the kill. Two players at truck, and it's electronic to deliver. Even Hobbit's going to go down next. And Navi's recovering so well. They got here at the perfect moment. Shiro, leg shot, can do nothing so far. Finally one for him. Low HP, but too many players to look at. Eighth round for Navi. Eighth round on the board. Rock solid. Looking for this player creeping up. Doesn't want to swing too wide. He'd be overexposed. There's a lot of risk, a lot of timings on this. He spots one in towards bathrooms. They're going to swing it long, and he wasn't prepared. Boomich now under so much pressure again. And once again, going to deliver. Lord Boomich! Triple kill in the bomb site. And waiting for one more. Inters has nothing to do. He's going to go down. It's Perfecto with the final kill. Bow down or stand for his Lord Boomich. You have three players rock, locked and road, loaded, ready to go here for Navi on the B bomb side. Simple going to get out here. Proactive play from him. He gets rewarded. Spots Shiro. Doesn't quite hit the no scope. That was sick, though. Perfect, they're going to find another one. And it's all on Nefania and Axile now working their way through Monster. They've had success in the past here, but this is going to be a tall order. This is going to be so tough. Boomich has spotted him out. Simple strikes down Nefania, and Boomich is there to take out Axile. 10 to 4, double digits in a half on CT side. Here we go, Monster again. They love this pop flash coming in. Two players going to turn the corner. Deep defense, Perfecto, the smoke is going to cut off one angle. He's got to rip up behind, he's blind. Axile comes through, and Hobbit, they crack it open. Just a three-man set piece at the B bomb site. Two players moving forward, and now Navi's got to recover. I don't know if they can. You got no choice. There's no saving now. You need to get out here somehow. With three players alive, it's all about the retake now. 45 seconds left, and the bomb is just now getting planted. Electronic, beautiful kill there on Axile. One step closer to making this possible here for Navi. Decides to take another fight, finds that headshot. Inters laid low. Nefani, Shiro, and Hobbit, the last alive, and they finally manage to remove Electronic, pull his plug. Hobbit with the kill on Bit, and it's all on Simple. Now 1v3, not quick enough. A fifth round collected for Gambit on their T side of Overpass. There will be a second body here to put up a fight in a moment. So Navi have to hit this window. Before further reinforcements arrive, they decide to peek together. What a play from Gambit. Nefani finds the headshot. He gets traded, and now the push is in here from Navi. Nefani doing the best he can to hold the line, but it's not going to be good enough. Perfecto with two kills and a bomb plan for Navi. All three players at the truck, though. They actually have to extend outward. Oh, they're going to jump right through the smoke. Inters knew it was coming, but he can do nothing about it. All on Hobbit, one versus three, and he's got to at least try. He's got a challenge. Oh, and this is going to be so difficult. So many different angles. There is a kit right next to the bomb as well, but he needs the kills. He needs them now. There's the first. Reloading as well. He's got time. And pushing forward the stairs. They're trying to bait him into each other. Hobbit is making this possible. Oh, the kit. And it's not planted for Bank. He can stick this to Fuse. How does Bit play this? I don't think he's out of it. Hobbit has created a miracle. Gambit's got the pistol in improbable fashion. And if anyone was going to deliver the monster round, it had to be Hobbit. What a play! 
They got to survive this round. Simple with his AK-47 working in tandem with Electronic over towards Sandbags. Peek up, beautiful shot. Ooh. There goes Hobbit. Revenge. Five on four for Navi. Revenge for the last round. All right, well, you managed to lay him low. Man advantage. And look at this push coming through here from Axel. What a mad lad. I think Bit might have heard it. Do you think he heard the footsteps? Because it seems like Axel was running. And yeah, Bit's now got the angle. Axel's never going to expect this. Bit with the second shot connects and simple. In the meantime, finds another headshot. Ooh. Oh, and another one. Where does this guy do it? Shiro now the last one alive here for Gambit, hoping to be the hero. Oh, oh my simple. god! That is disgusting! Ah, <laughs> look at confusion on Simple. Why's it gotta be so easy? Why is it always so easy for him? That's so filthy. Just taking over the round single-handedly. This is so beautiful. And Gambit just got worked. Simple never had to move from his position. <laughs> 11 Unreal. to 6, he takes it right back. Yeah, that's the face of a man who's wondering who doubted he's the best player <laughs> in the world. <laughs> Playing it up, what a boss. And the rest of his team, you can see he's being patient. The rest of his teammates coming up the staircase, they might want to join in on the fight. He doesn't want to commit to anything before his team gets here, not even risking the AK-47. 5-7, doing work, double headshot for Exile. That would be great for Gambit if he could start heating up, passing some guns away. And now actually there, there's a little bit of hustle, a little bit of intensity to Navi trying to chase this down. They don't want them to keep these rifles. Electronics got them both. Brilliant stuff from Navi. And Simple survives the entire time. He just served his bait. He guaranteed that Gambit had no way out. That was a, there was always the speculation going into this. Oh, Simple. I don't think he spotted that. I think he thinks he found the timing to where nobody could be here, but who is he going to look? I thought he might check Hobbit. One, and able to convert the second. Big start to the round for Gambit. Now it's just all about not letting it slip away. A five on three for the defense. I'm pretty sure I just saw Blade looking at the papers in front of him like, wait, I, I, we must have missed that. How did Hobbit get there that quickly? It's not written down here on this page. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't in the script. I, Simple got there so fast. I think he, I think he believed he had the timing. Bit's going to go down next as he's trying to get creative, trying to take some liberties through the smoke, and Hobbit's being very mobile across the map, and this round has slipped away from Navi. Seven on the board for Gambit, and they need to start stringing them together. They need to close this gap very, very soon. Electronic, perhaps a one and done. As Hobbit is behind him as well, there it is. Good round from Hobbit, triple yep. kill for him. At a moment's notice, you can see the bomb centralized in this attack. It's gonna be Boomage to probe through. Monster completely blinded, no chance. But there's Simple. Axile got baited into pushing forward, but there's still Shiro lying in wait. Exactly, he needs to hold the line here. Perfecto seems to realize it as well. Is he gonna check off our left? Yes, he will. Oh. Instant death for Shiro. Perfecto, that was a beautiful headshot. And Bit's gonna catch Nafani out in the open as well. Goes for the follow-up, takes Hobbit out of the fight. Beautiful work from Na'Vi. They needed both those kills. That bomb almost did not get planted in time, even with all that success. So God bless Bit, delivering all the entrances that Na'Vi needed. Hobbit just looking pensive right now. Trying to figure out what it is that needs to happen. I'd be very curious to see if uh, Gambit decided to call a tactical timeout. timeout. Nafany in the four on four. He's gonna test and see if there's any kind of a gap in the default. Oh, and Bit just barely misses him. He doesn't see him. This flank could be huge. Bit goes down. That's the only presence towards the A bomb site. So now Navi just have to pull the trigger on this hit towards the B site. Smoke's going to go down to provide cover, but look at the player to, ready to jump up on the boxes. Enters. He can do so much. And Navi's not going to see him. Boomage isn't going to see him quite yet. Ball is being planted. There's the jump over. There goes Simple and not able to convert another. But he's caused chaos. He's made it hectic in Boomage. Still alive, but just for a moment. Gambit hold on just barely. An eighth round. Now they're gonna have a tough decision to make. Hobbit still alive, and he, oh, he needs that kill, or he needs to just survive a little bit longer. Electronics got one. That makes Hobbit get aggressive, and he's found eventually. Nowhere to go, all options removed. 30 seconds left, though. They're cutting it so close, they don't have any room for error here. Inters could ruin their day completely. Oh, there's, this is weird. This is so This is so dangerous. Electronic is gonna clear the A-bomb set. I don't think they have time to go back. He's gotta have a very aggressive flank. 17 seconds left on the clock here. Simple. He knows it enters his close. Not going to get the kill. And Shiro's here to hold the line. It's looking like another round for Gambit. Eight seconds left. And the kills come through. Boomage and Electronics save the day for Na'Vi. You can't cut it much closer than that. Hobbit inside the bomb site. Enters. 
the barrels, and they're going to bypass any utility he wanted to put out. Hobbit's the first player. He gets the first. Boomich responds in kind, and Hobbit's just going to chill behind that smoke. He's trying to, excuse me, Inters is just going to try and stay alive as much as possible, waiting for his teammates to get in, but Navi as well. They've got 50 seconds. They've applied a lot of pressure. It doesn't need to be a commitment just yet. Yeah, let's take a look at this. They just put the brakes on, wait for the smoke to clear, find Inters in the open, and now they have the man advantage in this situation with 40 seconds left on the clock. Loads of time to work with, and they have the superior firepower. As soon as the P comes through, oh, simple with the uncharacteristic miss. But still, that gets them the info. There's one on high, and there's one on low. They know where everybody is now, Nafi. They have all the information that they need. But which going to find one, and it's Shiro with a double simple to save the day and close out the map. But for a second there, for a second, it was looking hairy for Navi. Gambit doing the best that they could, but it was not enough. Navi emerged victorious on overpass. Even some conversations at the end there for Navi to make sure that those mistakes get cleaned up going into the next map. But and we're live, we're in the thick of it. And it's going to be Navi starting on the CT side, Gambit on the T side. Gambit get to set the pace and then simply he's not waiting around. He's already taken Shiro out of the fight. Man advantage for Navi in this pistol. And they have yet to show anything here, Gambit. Only a single man spotted. They're going to hear the footsteps though, Hobbit. Stomping around in mid, trying to draw some attention to himself. This alerts simple. At least he's going to be able to communicate that over to his teammates. But the setup is here, and Boomich and Electronic already finding the headshots. Gambit are walking right into a wall in the first round of this map already. <laughs> simple is merciless. He's going for a third. And he's going to get it. Navi! What a dominant pistol round here to start off Mirage. And I don't really know if they have what it takes to get it. Just the MAC-10. That has armor to protect against some utility damage. And actually, an odd timing for Perfecto, but Bit is holding the line. Two kills, and that's it. Boomich knows not to move. Yep. He knows not to do anything. His teammates aren't calling out the bomb, and this is going to be the easiest kill of his life. Sucks to see. There's a reason why that doesn't usually work. The apartments, he's got his teammate Bit there to watch his back as well. I think Naphany just, yeah, he wants to give it. This is a little bit of a fake again. That kill would have been everything, but he wanted to give the impression like pressure was going to be here combined with Hobbit to soften up this B defense. It didn't work. There's the first kill. It goes to Inters. Low on HP, and he looks like he's got Simple boxed in. Looks like he knows he's there, but it doesn't matter. Simple still alive, and there's Perfecto making the SMG work. Hobbit is going to come up, and this is a tough position to clear. Perfecto gets aggressive. He's got the bomb site, and Hobbit's got no HP and no time for the one on two. With 10 seconds left on this clock, he has to get in here quick and hope that somebody's going to step out into the open, but Navi are playing this perfectly. Closing off the angles, whittling this guy down. He has no health left to play with and no time either. The round is over, and now it's all about surviving it. Can they hunt him down? Perfecto's going to deny him at the last second. Hobbit, because he survives the bomb time, or the timer, he gets no money going into this round. You reckon they go early so that they have a bit more time to move with? It's possible. I, I mean, they can just walk up right now with the cover of the ADP over the top of the stairs. Boomwich has one. Shiro doesn't react quick enough. He's got good damage. And Bit is still waiting. If he can get any help from his teammates, any flashbang so he can peek out. Simple is coming around. Smoke to give him some cover, and Bit's got a double. The Molotov doesn't do its job until it's too late. And the Navi defense once again holds strong. Not a gap for Gambit to work with. These guys are running headfirst into a brick wall right now, it feels like. There are, there's nowhere for them to go. Keep pushing forward. Simple's going to back away now. And Gambit is closing in towards this A-bomb site. Two players coming up connector. Two on the ramp. Make that one. And Simple's going to be zoned in. The peak from Palace could be everything, but now it's Bit's turn to be put into play. Misses an opportunity. Falls all the way back. Simple again with the kill. Finally put down. Good double from Inters into a three-on-three. -three. That Molotov into Khan was so slick, though. Just puts a halt to him. What a shot from Shiro. Had to happen. And, well, this is just all over. This round, what are you going to do? Perfection here from Nefani. No idea, Bit. He never knew what hit him. Electronic now going to be caught in a 1v3 with the bomb planted. And no reason for Gambit to peek him at all. They know where he has to go eventually if he wants to have a chance at winning this round. Shiro also, just that was the hero shot on CT that saved him. The flames go off, bomb has exploded. And he might just be out of this fight. I think a lot of this is going to be on this three-man hit. Oh, man, if he just throws a, a little more juice on that HE there, Perfecto, that would have been an insane nade. But he is going to get to help here from Bit. Simple lines up a shot. 15th kill for Simple so far this map. Outrageous performance from him. Bit takes Axile, and it's just Shiro left 
alone on B. Enters it mid, does catch out Electronic, and Shiro trying to make a difference over here, trying to dance on top of it, but he is going to get forced into the open, and Perfecto takes control of the bomb, enters alone now, and, well, not for long. Bit has mercy, puts him out of his misery quick. They don't even know where the AWP is. Electronic is looking towards jungle. I think as it made its way onto the bomb, onto the bomb site, they're going to know now. Inters catches Perfecto. Electronic caught in the open Hobbit with a valuable kill. And now they need to figure out how do you deal with Inters? Oh, this is so weird. I don't know how Gambit's made this happen, but it's actually perfect. Inters is somehow still alive and he might be able to find one more kill. This is magnificent. So much time, halfway through the bomb timer. This retake has got to be very quick. Plenty of kits to use. They do have a lot of a, a bit more time on that side for Navi. They have some grenades to use as well. Smoke onto the bomb. Shiro's on the other side of it, though. No mollies or HEs to get rid of this guy. They're going to have to go in here and do, the, do it point blank. Shiro looking for the spray. Oh, no. Not like this. Boomage gets denied. And they're running out of time. Simple, of course, he has to get the knife, but that's not going to get them the round. Gambit with two. But what a round. And maybe this is Navi getting a little ahead of themselves. They have connector control, they have catwalk control. And if they keep pushing, they're about to have T's. And there's Shiro dead. What is oh this? Oh no! Boom, it shakes him! Bomb gets dropped, they run into each other head on, and Boom, it reacts fast enough to get the kill. <laughs> Enters, at least he'll take electronic out, but it's still a 2v4. How has that happened? That's unbelievable. <laughs> and yeah, you might have the bomb site, but you don't have the bomb. Simple towards spawn stairs. Boomich is protecting it in T-spawn, and even with Simple going down, there's not enough time. 15 seconds on the clock, and you still have to deal with Boomich. And you still have to get the bomb and get back to the site. And it's gonna be an eighth round for Navi. Gambit are giving it up because they know it's over. Now it's about survival. Oh boy, are they gonna be able to though? Perfecto is here. The AWP picked up, and he just, yeah, he slow walks into that angle. Axel's gonna hit that shot every day of the week. So they get out of there with Simple's AWP. That's a nice trophy. And a tactical timeout called again here for Gambit Esports. Enough is enough. They need to start trying to figure out what is the solution here because this is so crazy. Running into each other head first. Yeah, and he has no idea who got there. I mean, it's, it's quite obvious when you see it occur. <laughs> Boomich's reaction is the best. Boomich is available to be the equalizer, though, when this smoke eventually does clear. Hobbit's trying to find his legs find any gap in that smoke. Perfect timing for the Molotov, and that's gonna isolate Hobbit. No chance for the trade. No chance for Shiro to spring into action, and it's all too easy for the Na'Vi defense. It's so beautiful. It's just one step after another. They, they're playing so well together as a team. Na'Vi covering for each other in every way. Shiro powerless to help his teammates. Well, that's a beautiful headshot from Axile, but Electronic immediately trades it. Down to Shiro now in a 1v4, and Electronic mercilessly ends him. 9 to 3, and as you pointed out, Moses, this was the golden opportunity for Gambit. Stand for the Lord. And let's see if he is going to hold the line here, because it's about to get real interesting. Flash over the top, he's not blinded, he's going to spot them all going through. Finds one kill, took him a while though, and he's low on bullets. One of the disadvantages of using an A1 is when it gets risky, it's going to get top, but he's still holding it, and it's Boomage! Quad kill! Shuts down that push. He's what having, a monster. He's having the best time in the world. He's having so much fun out there right now. Every time you see him on camera, he's got a big smile on his face. Not at all. This was a, we're, we're getting some of the answers to the questions that we were wondering having, you know, coming into this major. Now that we're in front of the fans, that's the big difference, right? It's one thing to play on land. It's another thing to play on land in front of an audience on a stage with thousands of fans cheering. 10 to 3, and well, finally, Nefani able to put an end to Electronic's reign of terror, but it's still a man advantage for Navi in the round. And he'll be there very quick on the flank, but still, that means Perfecto's got to hold out without any teammates, and he turns, oh, what a spin back. That's so quick. I thought surely he was done. I think Exile thought the same thing. Perfecto's going to get another. Gambit's just lost track of him. They finally bring him down, but it's oh so late. Simple can't even get in on the flank before his teammates kill everybody. He's got the perfect flank. He's just like, guys, stay alive. Stay alive five seconds. And then, like, wait, oh, no, never mind. Last round of the first half. Gambit need to come up with the goods here. <laughs> and Electronic snuffs Hobbit immediately. 
This is, it feels so often they've been playing with the man down, and that's their player in middle. That's the flank, that's the lurk. And now everyone from Navi can just focus on these halls. Gone out, Electronic. Perfecto's gonna hide behind the smoke for the moment. Good crossfire set up. Electronic's got another three kills so far. He somehow survives long enough for Perfecto to get into the action. It's 12 to 3. <laughs> smoke to sell the fake because they have three players in underpass stomping away going for the quick rotation let's see does this catch gambit off guard oh jumping up in towards window Nafany. that's a hard shot to hit you've got so many more bodies coming in they manage a double peek out of it one player did go down in the middle that's the exile on catwalk but navi have great control of the map they control the center and they can actually slow down rotations no matter where they come from. Bomb's gonna rotate all the way back towards A, and that's an important kill. Now Navi can feel real comfortable in these positions. Unstoppable. And it actually forces Shiro to fall in towards CT spawn, which is gonna make attacking the A-bomb site much easier if that ever does come into fruition. He's watching for the flank. Oh, he's removed simple, but instantly traded by Boomage. Inters and Hobbit, the last two alive here for Gambit. You do have the rotation coming in now from Inters. Missed opportunity there from Electronic though. Nerves perhaps showing a little bit here on the Navi side. <laughs> Fine, Electronic snuffs him. And Hobbit does turn it into a 1v2, but Boomich again! You cannot lay the Lord low. And well, it's going to be the hard eco here from Gambit. A little bit of a setup with the flash. I like to see it. Boomich on the flank though, going to catch it. There's a bit leading the way. Spots the man close, looking for more. Not going to find it. His teammates are going to be there though with Perfecto with the cleanup. 14 to 3. It's a nice attempt from Gambit. The flashbang gave him a small opportunity. And in the meantime, Bit setting up his teammates. Molly on short, flash to follow. Oh. And a headshot. Instant death for Nefani. What are you supposed to do about that? Molotov towards Van. Exiles boosted up, so really a lot falls on this initial defense on Inters to be able to provide something. Bit slowly creeping up. He could provide the opening. They're not expecting it. No one's really looking here. He needs to clear the boost. Like, oh, he spots that band, tapping away. He finds the head and converts onto Exile. Everything going wrong for Gambit. And Navi again have just found the winning recipe in the round. Utterly unreal that he spots that out. They have to go for this and it's everything. They, they have to go for this retake and if they lose it, it's essentially the series on the line. Hobbit jumping up goes down. Bit is incredible. Quad kill in the round for him, and Navi have 12 chances to make it into the grand finals. This is it, Moses. I think life's already been rough for Inters in this game. It's been rough for everyone on Gambit's side of things. Now they're not going to clear it. Perhaps a trade coming in and indeed, Simple pulls out the up. Now you have Exile who's just gotten here to find one, trying to keep Gambit alive into the series and holding on at the moment to the bomb site. Finds an awkward timing, but Perfecto is spot on. And Simple has yet to even be put into play and it's all over. 16 to three, Navi in the grand finals of the PGL Major in Stockholm. With an utterly dominant performance. Gambit just weren't able to get their game going whatsoever. Navi set the pace from the beginning. They said they had everything go their way. They created their opportunities, and the man on the stage getting the crowd hype simple. Had an ungodly performance on Mirage. 26, 27 kills.